Hey everybody, so today we are going to be taking a look at a way to be able to organize your resources for you and your student. Now there's lots of ways to do this. I have done one where I use OneNote and I show people how to do that. I'll add a link inside of the description here so that you guys can see that. And today Suzanne Davis, who's an online academic writing tutor, is going to show us how she uses Google Classroom to organize her resources and materials for her and her students. All right, Suzanne, it is all you girl. Well, thank you so much, Joanne. I really enjoy Google Classroom. And what's great about it is that now it's open to individuals with a Google account. So you don't have to be associated with the school anymore. Yeah, that is cool. And, and that just, that's only been a feature that's been around for like the last year, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. And they, they just made updates this month to it. So it looks wow. a little bit different than in older tutorials on it. Okay. Excellent. So we've got like right out the gate. This is what it looks like, you guys. You get it here first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you were saying that it, it seems like it's easier to communicate with your student with the with the way they have it organized now. I think so. The communication is is better as far as students being able to post things and you being able to post things and have almost like a Facebook discussion just centered around your your subject. Yeah. That's so cool. Very cool. Yeah, that's really, that's a, that's a neat concept to be able to build into that portal. So cool. Yes. So um, I'm going to show you. Awesome. All right. So as I said, anybody with a Google account can create a classroom. The way we, you would create a classroom is when you go to your, your Google page and you look on your, your, um, Chrome extensions down there. Mm -hmm. Google Classroom is one of those. Oh, cool. And you can select that and you can create a class or you can join a class. Okay. But I already created this one. It's the online tutor classroom. Great. Just for all of us. And um, this is really the, the four things that you want to be aware of. The, the stream, mm -hmm. classwork, and this is like it says, classwork, you can divide things up into categories and units and place different things there. Mm -hmm. um, people, and people is really your students. Got it. So if you wanted to invite a student, you can invite them by email. Okay. If you don't have their email or they don't, for some reason, I don't know why, you can also invite them by going to settings uh -huh. and you'll see here this is the information about the class uh -huh. got a class code oh perfect so anybody who just goes to um, classroom.google.com they can join the class with that code yeah so um, you can display it so that it's nice and big mm -hmm. and so for anyone who's watching this video um, I will keep this classroom open so that you can see it from the student viewpoint until November 1st. Okay, great. Okay, but that's the class code. And so students can come into this really at any time of the day. It's a great way to communicate and have your resources. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to go back and we'll take a look at the stream. So you'll see here, the stream, I have some announcements that I made already. Mm -hmm. This is just one welcoming people. Yeah. Uh, this is a question that I created. So if you click on that, mm -hmm. I just assign this to all students who show up. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can set it so that it's graded or ungraded. Mm -hmm. And I just asked the question. Yeah, that's and so cool. Right. And then I also am a student. So I yes. <laughs> responded as a student there. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you can post these things and then your students can respond and you can review them all. Excellent. Okay. And going back to Online Tutor Classroom, when you create a post, uh, you'll see that 
you know, you can create the announcement and then you'll also see here different options. Mm -hmm. You can refer them to a link, Google mm -hmm. Drive, oh. a video, a YouTube video. Uh -uh. Yes, and then a link. So attachment, <gasps> Google Drive. This is the coolest thing. Yeah. So now you click on this and you can have a URL uh -huh. to the video or if you don't know the video off the top of your head, but you know what you want to search for. So I'm going to go with mistakes online tutors make. Oh, I bet I know what's going to show up. Let's see. Uh, yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. Do you have a favorite, Joanne? And I'll <laughs> Let's see. Our last one was really good. Uh, mistake number uh, 13. There's so much conversation happening over that one. Okay, let me see. It's, it doesn't seem to be coming up on the top ones for this one. Maybe because it's newer. Maybe because it's so new. Yeah, I came out this week. But you can choose any of them. They're all good. Okay. I'm tooting my own horn, you guys. Toot toot. <laughs> All right. Um, let's start with, we'll go with six for now. We'll go with number six, yeah. All right. So I'm adding that. And I could just add the an announcement. Check out this video for a great tip about online tutoring. Mm -hmm. All right, and I can post this. Mm -hmm. I can schedule. Oh, I knew it. I knew or it. I can save as a draft. Yeah, a lot like Facebook, right? I knew there was going to be a schedule button on there. That's brilliant. All right. But then you can like you can plan out. Like let's say it's you plan on Sunday for your classes. You could be planning this all out on Sunday and have that ready to go when it would be important for that to go up. Right. Well, this is in the stream. And yeah. you can do those same things in the stream. But when I want to schedule something such as classwork, mm -hmm. I go to the section classwork. And here I've already created different topics. Mm -hmm. You'll see here. But to create any kind of classwork, you go to create. And you can create an assignment, a question, material. You can reuse a post or... You can create the topic uh -huh. and then start with, um, and then start from there with a new topic. Okay. So I'm going to go with videos for online tutors since you like videos so much, Joanne. I do. Okay. So now that I'm in this topic, I can rename it if I want. I can move it up so I can rearrange these mm -hmm. in any order that I want. Mm -hmm. And now if I want to create the specific assignment, mm -hmm. I can just go to assignment. And you see here, again, it's the same options. Mm -hmm. So it's attachment, Google Drive, yep. video, and link. Awesome. Now when you create an assignment, for Google Drive, for Google Classroom, you actually create it in the Google Docs or in uh, Google Sheets, whatever that is first. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to, it will go into your drive and then you can take that from drive and upload it. Mm -hmm. But again, I'm going to say, um, check out one of these check out this online tutoring video about YouTube. And again, I'm going to search for one of your videos, unless you have a URL off the top of your head. Oh, golly, no. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, my so, videos have like M B X Y Z. Three <laughs> One, two. mistakes online tutors make. I think that's the title of one. It might be. 
Isn't it funny? Like you start creating so much stuff, you forget like the titles of your own stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. right. You nailed it. Well done. Okay, so I'm adding that. All right. And I'm going to say um, comments on what you like best <laughs> in this video. Okay. And again, you can set it up so that this is classwork, so you can have it ungraded or you can set a certain amount of points to it. Mm -hmm. Going to have it ungraded, you could set up a due date and you can select a topic. So the topic that I'm giving it is videos for online tutors mm -hmm. because I already assigned that. And I can now, could assign you it again or schedule. Oh yes, you can title. Oh, I put this in the wrong category. Could you, now I was gonna think, can you title like each of your students as like the student and then only their resources will come on up under that topic? Oops, uh, I don't know what I did. Copy paste. Yeah, I copied and pasted a whole blog post I was just <laughs> <laughs> do you know how many times I do that? I am so glad somebody else has done that. I, I actually did a copy paste inside of Google yesterday, an entire uh, video script. I was oh, like, I've done that. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So these actually would be my instructions and then my title would be um, top three. YouTube mistakes. All right, so again, just like you like, you can assign it or you can schedule it. Oh, so I can assign it to each student that I want to do it? Yes, you can assign it to all students oh. or you can select a student. Yeah. So I don't even have to like make the topic that student, I can, I can assign it to each student that I want that to go to. And then it pops on up when they open it up on their side, their assignments pop on up. Exactly. <gasps> that is so cool. Yeah, that's why I gave you that um, class code. I'll show it again at the end. So yeah. you can check it out from the student point of view. Yeah. Yeah, this is just awesome. So I'm going to, Schedule it for, okay, October 19th. That sounds good to me. Yeah, it's a good date. Yeah. And I think I showed you people. Yeah. This is how you invite. Uh, one more thing with stream is mm -hmm. that you can always add other comments to it. Mm -hmm. Your students can post something in stream. Ah. So if you look at it from that student point of view, you'll see that you have the ability to do that. So if they wanted to share a resource, let's say with other people, they could. Exactly. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, and then I showed you this. So I'm going to give you the class code one more time for anybody who wants to check this out. All okay, right, so it's... F6FLYHN. Yes. All right. And you'll see it's online tutor classroom. Very cool. Awesome. Such a great tool. Thank you for showing us all of the great features that it offers and, and how it has, um, has changed. I love that it's available for, you know, anybody to use. So tutors like us can, can use this resource with our online students. And if they even want to be able to try to communicate with each other or, or set up, you know, relationships and that kind of thing, it's almost like you have your own little private um, Facebook right on inside of there. That's so cool. Right. And I like with the classwork, you can really set up resources along different categories. So if you are a math tutor, you could have fractions or, you know, multiplication. You can really divide it into these different, not just assignments, but resources that yeah. you can refer to. 
and things that you teach all the time. So like you can just easily like refer to it. You can be like, okay, whether you're pulling it up for yourself to like use for the tutoring process or you're sending it to them to take a look at in between tutoring time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's got a lot of flexibility there for you to, to make those choices. Right. And imagine doing it with group tutoring. Yeah. How awesome that would be to yes. have that stream going back and forth between you and all the students in that group session. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I, I, this, this is awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to show this to us. I, I bet you there's going to be a few more people checking out Google Classroom and seeing how they can use it for their online tutoring because of this. So I appreciate you taking the time and showing it to us. So if you guys, if anybody out there is looking for an online academic writing um, coach or tutor, this is your girl to go to. I mean, she <laughs> seriously, she has got her stuff together. I mean, she, she can take that A paper, she could take that D paper and turn it into an A paper. She can help you. And she doesn't do it herself, right? She doesn't, she doesn't write the paper for you, but she will show you the steps on how to make your paper better so that you can be able to get that grade. So she, she is out there to seriously support and guide you. So she is amazing, wonderful. You got to check her out um, if you're looking for an online writing tutor or coach. Okay. Thank you so much, awesome. Joanne. It was fun. It was yes. A lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And what is your website if people want to go visit your website? Uh, www.academicwritingsuccess.com. There we go. Check it out, you guys. And uh, and thanks so much for, for hanging out with us. All right. Cheers.